All right, let's go. Hold it. 10 miles, baby. Let's push it. Hey, let's go. Who is that? We are doing twice. Is it all? Hey, come on, with that. Hey, he's doing it. He's doing that. Oh, no, 10 miles, baby. Yeah. 10 miles in the books. How you doing? Just gonna then do my morning 10 mile run. It's hot this morning. I'm gonna wear shorts and t shirt when I run this now. No more track suits. So, guys, yeah, it's around the year 2000. I just started Jiu Jitsu. You know, I trained under Frigate Camargo in Orange. You guys know, uh, since the Frigate passed away and now it's uh, run by Sensei Troy Acker, you know, my good brother, I grew up doing jiu-jitsu with him, a great man, good sensei. I remember back in the day in 2000, I was in high school, I was like a sophomore in high school or something like that, and my friend Tony Bowie, Tony Bowie goes, yeah, hoist Gracie for a 90 minute match against a guy named Kasushi Sakuraba. And I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, 90 minutes, I'm thinking, UFC is no, there's no 90 minutes, you know? I think by this time it's rounds. And he doesn't know what he's talking about. He's never really into mixed martial arts like that. You know, no, it was an organization called Pride in Japan. They did a special rules match. They went 90 minutes. And Hoyce Gracie lost. I don't think that's a no, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. You know, Hoyce Gracie is the best in the world. He's a two or three time UFC champion, tournament champion, you know, Jiu Jitsu black belt. Who's gonna be, who knows Jiu Jitsu? And then uh, I go back to Jiu Jitsu. And the top of the same fight, I think Muhammad from One Jiu Jitsu, if you guys know Muhammad, uh, I, I think I remember his name. It was Muhammad. It was Muhammad, big, bald, ripped, Persian looking guy. He's not looking, he's a Persian guy. And him and Frank were talking about, like, oh, oh man, they want to see the whole, the whole 90 minute match. Cause right now, I guess at this time, it's only like, you know, highlights of the 90 minute match. And Frank De Camargo goes, I have it. I have the whole tape. And, and like I asked Frank, Frank you had you had the tape. I said, Who, who's who's Kasuji Sakuraba, you know? And like uh, he let me borrow the VJ cassette. I made a bootleg copy of it. And then uh, at the time, my mom had a nail shop, and I so I go out there to help her out, or just you know, I, I, after, I'm still high school. So after school, I go out there and hang out there. And uh, I watched that thing over and over and over again. Oh, I actually, my mom. Lived in Indiana at the time, and I went over to visit her, and I brought my my Pride Grand Prix VHS tape, Soccer Rabbit versus Hoist Grease over there. And I just put that on the big, not the big, the screen, the television set, and I watched that. I just killed time to watch it over and over and over and over, and I never got bored. It was, it was amazing. Time flew. So I was over there, I think in South Bend. Indiana or Elkhart, Indiana. I'm not sure which one it was, but that's when I had my first um, jiu-jitsu match, but that's for another time. But, um, Sakuraba versus Hoist Gracie. Hoist Gracie is not a wrestler, you know, so he does these crappy, you know, tackles. And Sakuraba, he's like a college-level wrestler. You know, he's, very, he, he's good, he can wrestle. And Hoist Gracie wasn't gonna take him down. No way, no how. If you wrestled, and you wrestled with someone that never wrestled, they're not gonna take you down. It's not gonna happen, especially at like any of your college level wrestler. Ain't no scrub gonna take you down. No way. Yeah, it was amazing. I never saw anyone fight like this. You know, I immediately I was I was impressed. I was amazed. I fell in love. You know, I started with low kicks, low kicks, low kicks. Boom, boom. Like he did. It was so unorthodox. He done things that no one ever done before or dared to do the Hoist Gracie. 
You know, like, he grab his gi, he put over his head, you know, uh, he untie his pants, you know, and he start to grab his gi, and start giving up like 30 bucks, and bam, 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 bam. Oh, he, oh and this one, the cartwheel pass, this is the very first time I saw a cartwheel pass. So like, he does a cartwheel over, o over the guard, and he landed the North Style Sergeant, the last Sergeant roll. Uh, it was amazing, I never saw anything like this. So this this beating went on for you know, six rounds, you know, so uh, lesson learned, you know, if you do jitsu, you don't know wrestling, you know, because the fight starts on the feet, you just need mostly works on the floor. And uh, Horace Grease could not get the fight to the ground. He had a, uh, once they had a pull guard, even when he jumped guard, you know, so I was still, he felt not worried, he felt very calm, and just ground pounding him out. I did like the Mongolian chops, like just straight down the middle like this. Then after six rounds, after a 90 minute beat down, you know, um, for all six, Hoist goes back to his corner. I think he talks to like, like Hoy and Grease, and, he's, and like, uh, he's like, I can't go anymore. They threw in the towel. And Sakuraba wins the fight. He made history. He was the first guy to be Hoist Greasy in a mixed martial arts competition. And uh, you guys got a ch chance or time, opportunity, you guys, look up on YouTube, I'm sure it's out there, or, you know, Google it, Hoist Greasy. Versus Sakuraba um, won or a prior Grand Prix, uh, open weight Grand Prix 2000. You know, infantry, you know. Till next time, guys. Fire or die. Hey!